part of college life at Texas. It's a sense that good times are back. The man chiefly responsible for that feeling is Tom Penders. Penders comes to Texas with a reputation for building winners. Over the last two years at Rhode Island, Penders led that Atlantic 10 school to a 48 and 17 record and a spot in the Sweet 16 in last year's NCAA tournament. And he has no doubt that he has a winning situation here at Texas. Not too many schools can offer a tremendous campus uh, near a great city, uh, Austin being the state capital. And of course, we have obviously one of the best basketball facilities in the country in the Irwin Center. Add all those things up uh, uh, with a great overall athletic tradition. And I think the University of Texas is one of the most attractive jobs in the country. Tom Pender's teams are built on a foundation of exciting, wide open offense combined with a full court pressing defense. And his philosophy for Texas basketball is simple. We'll run after made baskets, we'll run after missed baskets, we'll run after timeouts, we'll run after TV timeouts, we'll run after violations. Uh, I believe in a wide open style of basketball and I think any kid with talent likes to play that style of basketball. This is a style of play that fans love to see and players love to play. Whenever it's time to run, I think this is the team that can do it. If it's going to get done, we're going to do it. There's more to life than basketball, and there's more to the University of Texas than athletics. First, there's Austin, a city that offers a lifestyle seldom matched anywhere. Nestled among the scenic hills, the capital city of Texas supplies year-round sunshine and a variety of options to enjoy the good life. It combines the excitement of a growing city with a small-town atmosphere. And of course, the university offers the tradition of both great academic and athletic programs. This is a university that produces greatness whatever field you choose. Its graduates include engineers, doctors, lawyers, scientists, and communicators such as Walter Cronkite. It means something to earn a degree from the University of Texas, and today's players are well aware of that. I didn't really know a whole lot about the University of Texas, but once I visited the campus, and I talked to a lot of the professors and a lot of the academic counselors here. They, they showed me just how much and how prestigious the University of Texas was. And I know if I could get a degree from the University of Texas, how much it would really help me once I get out of school if basketball is not something I'm still with. Alvin Heggs and Travis Mays are from Florida, but they found the charms of Texas hard to resist. And players from the Lone Star State, such as sophomore Andrew Fowler, know that attending their state university also means a lot in terms of their future. You know, this is one of the best universities in the country and just happens to be my home state. So being here at the state university is real important to me. The University of Texas has produced greatness in many areas of athletics as well. Men such as golfers Tom Kite, Ben Crenshaw, two-time Cy Young Award winner Roger Clemens, the legendary Tom Landry, and of course, Heisman Trophy winner Earl Campbell. There is a proud tradition in basketball as well, and that includes 19 Southwest Conference championships, eight appearances in NCAA tournament play, and a trip to the Final Four plus the 1978 NIT championship. Its alumni include such players as All-American and All-Pro Slater Martin, who is now in the National Basketball Hall of Fame. Jay Arnett a member of what many call the greatest amateur basketball team ever, the 1960 Olympic gold medal team. Johnny Moore, the all-time assist leader for the San Antonio Spurs. And LaSalle Thompson, currently a member of the Sacramento Kings. Today, there is a golden opportunity to build on that tradition. And already, people are beginning to notice. Texas is yet to play a game under Tom Penders, but the Longhorns are already regaining the national spotlight. We're playing on CBS, which is National Network, against Vanderbilt. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, on ESPN this year. We're going to be playing on USA Network. Uh, uh, we expect uh, to play a lot of games on national television. We're just starting out now, but I think uh, in the next two or three years, the University of Texas is going to be playing on national television uh, quite often. The pieces are almost in place. There was a top facility, the Irwin Center, that seats over 16,000 fans. There is a coach with an exciting style of play, and there are the fans ready to embrace basketball once again. There's also a solid foundation of players on hand, but there's room for more, especially those who fit the special mold of a player for the University of Texas. We're interested in recruiting good people. Uh, we want youngsters who want to graduate, uh, who want to get a quality degree, 
uh, that want to go to class and want to do their schoolwork. Uh, and on the athletic side, uh, we're looking for athletes uh, that want to play an up-tempo game, that want to run, that want to play against the best basketball teams in the country. A key part of any successful program are the assistant coaches, and Tom Penders is blessed with an excellent crew. He brings Jamie Campaglio with him from Rhode Island, while longtime assistant Eddie Oren remains, along with Dave Miller. It is a time of excitement and a time of growth for basketball at the University of Texas. It's also a time to become a part of Texas history. So come along. Join the stampede to Texas Longhorn Basketball. Come on now. Never!